today's video, I wanted to talk about a certain publisher that I'm getting real tired of because they're always sharing fake upcoming game Twitters, like this one, and this one, and this one, and so many others, and no one is actually saying anything. Now keep in mind I am subscribed to this publisher on YouTube, and I've covered a lot of games that they shared so I really did not help the cause. But until we see actual gameplay that looks like the game Twitter is there sharing, well I'm considering them as fake. Coincidentally it's also been confirmed by the publisher itself that almost everything that we see on their channels are fake games and not even created yet, which is a little bit weird and I'm gonna talk about that too. Let me introduce you to Playway, a lot of you watching this might actually know about them since they share so many game Twitters, some that I also covered on the channel like Riot Control Simulator, American Theft 80s, Robin Hood Builders of Sherwood and so much more. You guys know that I cover a lot of indie games on the channel. It is basically the main thing that I talk about and in fact most of them turns out pretty good. But since we're in the indie realm and small teams are creating these projects, some of them can be bad or simply a scam. It's bound to happen and it is a risk to take when covering indie games. But this is also where I find the most pleasure because the indie games that do succeed are all made with heart. It's just two, three or four guys in their bedroom creating something they want to make with no higher ups in their way. But again some developers and publishers can take advantage of this and create whatever is trending or just a hidden scam. This is where Playway comes in. You know it is Playway that's publishing a certain game when the trailer you're watching feels like a fake mobile ad from a game no one's ever heard of. Let me show you an example with the most recent games they've announced. Do you notice how fake everything looks? The movement, the graphics, the animations, the fighting, everything is fake and there's no doubt about it. It is all the same kind of movements like it's an unreal game. They're all supposed to show in-game footage, but what they don't tell you publicly is that every single game we're seeing here does not exist. What we're watching right now are ideas of a game and if these ideas become popular and liked by the public, that is when they'll think on creating the game. Basically it is a fake Twitter of a fake game and if that Twitter gets popular, Playway, the publisher, will give the green light to an unknown developer to start making it. If it doesn't get enough wishlist on Steam, well it'll get abandoned and no one will hear about it again. Don't get me wrong though, it could be a good idea for a publisher to share a concept Twitter of a game, to see how people react to it. But the way Playway is doing this is so wrong. They're pretty much stealing people's ideas of a game and are trying to make their project more popular than the original work. For example, they've seen the popularity of an upcoming game game called Manor Lords, and have tried and copied with what they call Viking City Builder. Some of the scenes in the Twitter are the exact same as in Manor Lords, and even then, Viking City Builder doesn't even exist yet. They've seen the rise of riots in the United States and decided to make a game out of it. It's just little things like these. Don't get me wrong though, they've actually published pretty good games like Thief Simulator, U-Boat, House Fibbler, and more, and these projects were pretty well received. But 90% of them will never see the light of day. Playway is a Polish publisher that for some reason, its CEO has a lot of money and is paying unknown developers to create something playable and sell it on Steam. The publisher has a never ending page of upcoming releases on Steam and many of which we'll never ever see because they didn't have the popularity needed. It doesn't really help when almost every game they're announcing is something weird no one asked for like Lord Bullfrog. My funeral home. or a Moses action game, which looks kinda cool, but who thought of that? 
that. Anyway, don't worry about seeing a game like this on the channel. If I am covering a game from Playway, I will be telling you guys and letting you know that it might never release. Though, make sure you subscribe for gaming news on exciting upcoming indie games. I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Thanks to Richard Westfall, Bruce Wayne 236, Thunderbeard, Kianzo Fagari, Rickno 23, Diamond Hunter 45, Themistocles, Space Beer Gaming, and Rush Singbati for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for as low as 99 cents only by clicking the join button below. This will support me and the channel as a whole to continue making videos on the games that truly deserve it.